What up, YouTube? Kevin like me here, and uh, just as promised, gonna do a uh, Stone Brewery IPA. These are the same people that do that make the arrogant bastard ale. This is a uh, course brewed in San Diego, North County. San Diego and it's a 6.9% alcohol by volume and I don't know if you ever see it on the back they got a big old long spill which which is pretty typical of Stone Brewery they always put a big old spill on the back of their bottles Arrogant Bastard Ale that they make is my absolute favorite craft beer to buy you know when I go to the store these typically run about $3.95 a bottle, right about $4 a bottle, this and the Arrogant Bastard, but man, it is, the Arrogant Bastard is, is fucking good. I don't know, if, you know, how many of y'all have had it or not, but they, their, their logo is always awesome. It's typical. It's got gargoyles and demons and stuff always on them. But yeah, I wanted to want to give this stone IPA a little chance. Here's my Pike the Chef official bottle opener. Yeah, let's give her a pour with my official Pike the Chef pint glass. <laughs> I'm not going to do an aggressive pour because I don't really want a big old head on it. Well, hell, might as well give it a little bit of one. As you can see, it is filtered, and it's a, it's an amber color, you know, it's not, for an IPA, it's awful. I mean, it is a pale ale. Well, you know what? It may not be as filtered as I think. Looks good. That's all I know. Give it a whip. Oh wow. First thing I noticed, of course it's the hops, but there's a fruitiness to that. Figure out what that is. It's kind of a kind of a grapefruit kind of smell. Citrus, but more of a grapefruit twang. Mm, man, that smells good. First thing I noticed though is the hops, right off the bat, bam. There's probably several, I'm guessing two or three different kinds of hops using this. As you can see the head's dissipating quite a bit. It's not really a dense head, well, semi-dense, but really not spongy. Man, this shit smells good, I ain't lying. Golly, it smells good. Let's give her a taste, shall we? You know, the first thing that hits me is the hops. Right off the bat. Bam. Definitely. Definitely. There, there's got to be several kinds of hops because I'm getting into the front, the middle, and the back. Three different flavors. And that grapefruit twang, there, that is right in the back of the throat right now. Just bam. Like if you take a big old drink of some grapefruit juice or eat a piece of grapefruit, after you've done swallowed it, give it a second. That, I, don't, I, I can't explain that. It's just a right in the back of your throat. Wow. That's good though. It's not sweet at all. I mean, it is an IPA. There's no sweetness to it, but man, it's good. I don't taste any sweetness. There's not there. Yeah. Mm. I don't know what I was about to say there. <laughs> man, it's good shit. It's about as good as the arrogant bastard. This is this is really good.
got some nice lacing going on. I don't know if y'all can see that. Good stuff. That's really a good IPA. Let's say what it says on the back here. It says, to say that this IPA is deliciously hoppy. I haven't even read this. I, I don't know. To say that this IPA is deliciously hoppy would be putting it modestly. And while we have many strong suits, modesty is not exactly one of them. And so we used a totally immodest amount of hops in the recipe for this gem of an IPA. The result, big hop flavor and courtesy of generous dry hopping, a big hop aroma. What about hop bitterness, you ask? You bet. We loaded a glorious amount of crisp and refreshing hop bitterness into this brew. The result is a true thing of beauty. First the aroma entices and the flavor moves one to rejoice aloud. <clears throat> well, it does for us anyway. In fact, it makes us feel downright poetic. Hey, bit of poet madman. Shout out, bro. We know it will for you too. Man, that's some good shit. I ain't even gonna lie. Uh, you know, what's funny is I haven't even looked on YouTube to find any, uh, any uh, reviews of this. I didn't want a biased opinion when I reviewed it, so. Bias, not biased. I think I didn't graduate elementary school or something. But yeah. Give it another drink. It's good shit. Good stuff, man. I totally recommend Stone IPA. If you can find this at your local liquor store or wherever you buy good beer, that's pretty good stuff. I think next time I go grab me a couple uh, Arrogant Bastards, I'm going to grab a couple Stone IPAs as well. That's good stuff. Got to love craft beer. Craft beer is good. I mean, I mean, y'all see my videos. Y'all think, oh, the guy only drinks malt liquor. No, I, I like good beer. I drink malt liquor. Malt liquor is a hobby. Craft beer is a shit. I like them both. Hey, don't, don't, don't fucking criticize me. I do drink both, and you know this, so, hey, this is good stuff, though. This is good. This, this, look, look, I'm smiling. This shit puts a smile on my face. Look, I'm even so happy that I forgot to put the song on. That's all right. Fuck the song. Yeah, it's good stuff. Pour a little more in there. Good stuff, man. Look at that. That is just a perfect beer, or glass of beer. I was going to say perfect beer of glass, but I don't think that'd be too healthy to drink. That's, that's good stuff. God dang it, I can't say it enough. That is good stuff. I think if I had to rate it on a one to five, being five being the best, I'd have to go with a solid four plus. Four and a half. It's not the absolute best I've ever had, but man, that is good. That is good. But then again, I, I, I've always liked Stone Brewery. I found Arrogant Bastard Ale about, about 10 years ago. And I've been buying it ever since, and that's just one of the main beers that I buy and drink. And I don't drink it here on YouTube because, you know, I don't know. It's not something you slam. It's not something you chug. It's something you you enjoy, you enjoy. A good beer is meant to be enjoyed, not slam. So yeah, we'll take another drink for y'all. And I'm gonna sit here and watch some YouTube videos and enjoy my beer. All right, y'all. This has been Cowboy Like Me with a Stone IPA review.
Peace.